Good morning from Revive, welcome back to our math session here with me, Miss Hera. Please get yourself ready by reading the book or, you know, get yourself ready. And now we are still in chapter 2, but now we are going to learn about solving word problems, okay? Check it out. Please open the workbook chapter 2, practice 4. We're going to discuss it together. Number 1. There were 918 yellow tiers and blue tiers all together in auditorium. So it means that yellow tier plus blue equals 918. The blue tiers were arranged in 36 rows with 12 tiers in each row. The yellow tiers were arranged in rows of 18. So the blue will be arranged in 36 rows and each row will be in each row will be filled with 12 tiers, okay? And then um, the yellow tier will arrange in rows of 18. So we do not know how many rows for the yellow tiers, but we know that each row of yellow tier is 18. How many rows of yellow tiers per tier? So take a look at this one. So we know that yellow tiers plus blue tiers equals 918 tiers. After that, we have the information that the blue chairs were arranged in 36 rows. So that is the row 36 and that each row will be 12 chairs per row. It means that can we know can we know how many blue chairs are there? Yes. It is simply like um rectangle, right? So if this is 36, this will be 12, 12, 12. 12, 12, until 36 row. So how can we find out how many blue chairs are there? By multiply it. 36 rows times 12 equals 432 blue chairs. So we know that this is 432. We do not know yellow chairs. Can we know how many yellow chairs are there? Yes, by subtracting it. Subtraction, 918 tiers minus 432 blue tiers equals 486 yellow tiers. So we know that blue tiers are 432 and now yellow tiers are 486. But that is not the question. The, uh, the question asking you how many rows. So how? It means that yellow chair, uh, once again, we will use this concept, okay? Concept of rectangle. So yellow chairs equals 18 chairs times how many rows? We do not know the rows. We know that each row will have 18 chairs. So, 486 equals 18 chairs times row. How can we find the row by to find it? 486 divided by 18 will be 27 row. So, is that the answer? Yes. How many rows of yellow chairs were there? 27 rows. That's the answer, okay? After that, number two. Fill it. Put 120 greeting cards at three for two dollars. It means that three cards equals two dollars, okay? So if we only bought six cards, if you only will pay four dollars, okay? So if you only bought 120 greeting cards at three for twelve dollars. Harry bought the same number of greeting cards, not cars, sorry, it's supposed to be cards. Greeting cards at 6 for $5, so what was the difference between the amounts that Violet and Harry paid? We can use models. 120 greeting cards at 3 for $12. It means that 1, 2, 3 cards will be $2. Get it? Artinya satu pack, one bundle, one pack of three cards will be will cost two dollars. But did fill it by only three cards? No, fill it by 120. So three cards equals two dollars. How many for 120 cards? Can we find it? Of course. So if three cards equals two, 120 cards will be divided by three and we will have 40. Get it? It means that we will have 40 packets, not $40. So how many dollars? 40 times $2 equals $80.
Miss Anne, I do not, I'm really confused with what is this 40 about? It means that this is one packet. Ini bisa kita imajinasi sekarang sebagai satu paket. Jadi artinya 40 di sini adalah 40 paket. 40 paket beginian yang isinya 3. Oke. Okay. So Violet will pay 80 dollars. Violet paid 80 dollars. So that's it. How about Harry? We will use the same concept for Harry but different numbers. So Harry bought the same number of greeting cards means that Harry bought 120 greeting cards but Harry has one package equal six for five dollars. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So six cards for five dollars. So six cards equals five, 120 cards will be 20. And now 20 packets of this, 20 packets of this will be paid as $100. So Harry paid $100. Is that the answer? No. Is that a question? Nope. The question is the difference between the amount that Violet and Harry paid. So Violet paid 80, Harry paid 100. What was the difference? $20. That's it. I uh, yes, if you said that it is kind of confusing, it's okay because we are not used to uh, about this kind of sentence, right? Just remember that if you have add three for two, means that one packet equals three, and um, that one packet costs two dollars. Number three. Rachel and Sean had the same number of marbles. Rachel gave away 20 marbles and Sean gave away 44 marbles. Please note that Rachel did not give these marbles to Sean and vice versa. Sean also didn't give these 44 marbles to Rachel. Okay, so they, they gave those marbles to someone else. Rachel then, after giving away, Rachel then had three times as many marbles as Sean. How many marbles did Rachel and Sean each have at first? So the question is, at first. Rachel has at first, and Sean have at first. How many are there? So we know that Rachel and Sean had the same number. So we have same box. Rachel gave away 20 marbles. Give away 20 marbles means that we're going to cut that down or in this case, I will just make it different. 20 marbles. And Sean gave away 44 marbles. After that, after they give away, after they gave away those marbles, Rachel then had three times as many as Sean. It means that Rachel has more than Sean. How many more? Three times than Sean. So one, two, three. Oopsie. Okay. So one, two, three times as shown. Okay. After that, we know that this is actually look at here. Look at this different box. If this from here until here is 44, this until this 20. So it means that this is 20, right? Okay. And then how about this? How about this? That is 24. How do we know? How do we know that from here to here is 24? 44 divided by 20. Then we get this 24. As you can see, actually, it is same as this one, right? This and this and this. So it means that two units of these equals 24. Do you get the point? Okay, let me replay that for you. So from here to here is 44. Here to here is 20. And then we can just cut this down to get this 20. And then we will have this one as 24. And from the information that we know, Rachel then had three times as many marbles as Sean. So from here to here is three. From here to here is one. So this one is two units, right? Two units equals 24. If two units equals 24, one unit will be 12. So it will be 12. Miss Anna, is it same with this one? Yes. Is it same with this one? Yes. Because it is actually the same, but Rachel has three times more than Sean. Means that 12, 12, 12. How about this? 
20. How about this? Don't forget 44 divided uh, minus 24. 20. So, we find it out. Can we find the answer? Of course. The total is 3 times 12 times 20. So, Rachel will have 56. 3 times 12 is 26 plus uh, is 36 plus 20, 56. So, if Rachel has 56, then Sean will have 56 marbles as well. So that's all for today from Revive. We have learned, we have discussed three word problems. And then in chapter two, we have learned about multiplication, division, operation of whole numbers, and solving word problems. Don't forget to practice it by yourself. Workbook page 26, number four, and five only. Only two numbers. I believe that all of you are so capable in doing that. And it will be discussed in the next Zoom meeting, which is Tuesday for August. So that's all for today from Refine. Thank you and goodbye.